Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to answer a very popular question that I usually get, and that is, how do I update from iOS 17 beta to the official final release once the software is available? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update to the official release of iOS 17, even if you're testing public betas or developer betas. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, Apple is definitely changing things around this year. Apple is no longer using developer profiles in order to install betas on your iPhone. Now, the way you get access to developer betas and public betas is by going into the settings application, going into general, software updates, and right here you get the option to choose whether you want to install developer or public betas depending on your account and what you're registered to do. Now everything is going to work the same whether you're in public or developer beta, but one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to have at least five gigs of space left on your iPhone. So you want to go into the about section here and you want to see how much storage is left on your device. So right there it is, capacity versus available. I have about 34 gigs available of storage. So I should be good to update here to the official final release. Now, if you have at least 30, you should be fine. So let me show you how easy it is to go from developer or public beta to the official final release. You wanna jump into settings here. You wanna go into general. You wanna go into software updates. And once this populates here for you, you wanna tap in here and then you wanna turn this off. Now, keep in mind, this means that you'll no longer be able to install developer or public betas in the future. So if you were looking to test iOS 17.1 beta 1 in the future or 17.2 beta 1 in the future, this will not let you do that, of course, because you have selected the off option. Now, once you select off, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reboot your iPhone. So power off and power back up and your iPhone should prompt you to update to iOS 17, the official final release once it is available on September the 8th which is the date we're thinking the software will be available to the general public. Again, if you want to continue testing betas, you can always go back into general software updates. Make sure this option populates for you. Select your beta right there, developer for me. Once again, go ahead and reboot your iPhone and you can jump back into the beta cycle if you wish to do so. But yeah, Apple definitely changing things around, no longer using developer profiles. It is extremely simple now to update to the official release. If you want to update to the official final release of iOS 17 and you're currently running a beta, you can turn that off right now. Once it is available, your iPhone will prompt you from beta to official release once it is available. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this answers your question and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.